Hello everybody and welcome back to Heat Homestead. Today we are on the morning of day 13, still in year 1, approximately 6.30 a.m. And uh, as you can see, we got a barn frame built. And uh, today we're going to work on building this barn. We're going to completely build it. And also we have some tomatoes to harvest, so we're going to do that first. And then we got to go chop some trees down. Yeah, look at that. Our tomatoes are all grown up. So we'll go ahead and pick those. And I forgot that this crop, we actually get multiple harvests out of it. So that's good. Hopefully we uh, get some decent money out of this crop. And we'll, we definitely need some money. I'm sorry if I sound kind of nasally. Actually, still getting over COVID. I got COVID about almost two weeks ago and uh, I'm still still a little bit sick and we got 291 tomatoes from that harvest pretty nice looks like it should be some decent money so we'll go throw that in the shipping shipping container and then uh, we'll uh, start, start chopping down some wood let's throw all these in there I don't think we need to save anything because we still have our turnips. Yeah, look at that. $161 from that harvest. That's not terrible. There's a cow out there. I would love to get some cows. So that's what I'm hoping to put inside the barn. I got like these uh, stables here. That, that looks off just a little bit. That might be too, too small. Oh well. We'll live with it. It's a custom barn, so. Well, we'll go with that and... If we need more, we'll chop more, but let's, let's get building here. I do have, okay, I do have selected. All right, uh, I think we'll start on the foundations here. It's kind of where I began. Yeah, I didn't show me putting up the structure. Because I was thinking of how I wanted to build it. I'm already out of wood. Well, guess uh, we're chopping more then. Yeah, I wasn't sure how I wanted to build the barn, so I didn't bother showing me building it. Because I was thinking of what I wanted to do. Anyway, we'll chop down some more trees and then I'll uh, catch you guys in a minute here. Well, we're exhausted at 12.47, so I guess we're going to bed early then. I'm trying to hurry. I got a little bit of wood here. Looks like about... Say about 500 wood. Alright. So we'll go put this wood into the barn that we got on us. And see how far we get. Continue on. I don't think we're going to get past the foundations yet. Nope. Not getting past the foundations. Back to the woods we go. We're going to go ahead and buy a iron wood, well, never mind, I guess we're not buying that. I'm going to buy an iron hatchet, though. Because my uh, stone woodcutter's axe broke again. This is the second time that's broken, so we're going to order that iron hatchet since we had a little extra money from our harvest. And we're going to do that. I'm also going to pop some of these geodes open too. See if we got any anything valuable out of that. I think I need to build a campfire. Yeah, I do. Well, we didn't get anything spectacular, but we got this fire opal worth $210. Got a little bit of silver. 
So Dolomite, $180. Superior Bronze, $36. And some regular Bronze, $9. So overall, not terrible. It's a little bit of money. Go ahead and slap these in here. So sell all of those. Except for the silver. I'm going to hold on to the silver. $326 for that. That's not too bad. I do have a little bit of silver in here. That I could totally sell if I really wanted to. But we're not going to yet. Clear out my inventory a little bit. Yeah, I did already have a campfire, so I made it for no reason. It was sitting right over here. I guess I should probably clear that out a little bit. Because I couldn't couldn't see it at all. So we'll go ahead and clear out this hay and grass and whatever. And I'll probably just go to bed while we wait for our uh, hatchet to arrive because we can't do any chopping without an axe. There we go. That's better. I don't think we have we don't have a rake so can't make any pathways yet. Any extra iron in here? No. Take that coal though. Could use that for fuel source. I wonder. I think that I'm pretty sure this takes fat. Yeah, this takes fat. So we can't have our lights going yet. So I'm gonna throw all that in there. What is that worth? Two dollars? Eh, we'll just hold on to it. Alright, well, let's go to bed. Now, let's go see if our hatchet arrived. There it is. Alright, so I'm just going to throw that on the ground. We don't need that anymore. We have an iron hatchet now. Oh yeah, this is definitely faster. Alright, so I'm going to keep chopping, and uh, you guys know the drill. Alright, we are overweight. We have a few hundred, a few hundred wood now, so let's see how far we can get this. Yeah, we got 857. Alright, should be able to get pretty far with this. Should, but it is going down pretty fast. Alright, now we can start on the wall. So we'll start up front here. I do like seeing the interest in heat still, even though. I don't understand the, the interest in heat still because this game is dead. If you look at the server list, there's like not even 20 people on there from what I've seen. And also the official servers, they crash like no other. I was playing yesterday and my game just kept crashing. I think I crashed like six times. Six or seven times. Couldn't really do much. But, Homestead's not terrible. I mean, I haven't crashed yet, knock on wood. And, uh, it's kind of fun just to come in here and... When the game actually works, like right now it's running about 53 FPS for me. It's mostly because I cranked the settings down so I could actually see what I was doing. When it works, it's not a terrible game. I mean, obviously, I'm still I'm pretty, pretty upset since the developers just completely in the game and they haven't haven't touched it for almost a year now I think the last update was June or it might have been October actually I don't remember I'd have to look anyway uh, yeah I like to like to see that one of my most viewed videos is is heat like episode one and two both have over a thousand views episode one has like four thousand Episode 2 has, I think it just broke a thousand recently. So that's cool to see. I'm hoping that episode 3 and 4 and however long I continue to do this, uh, hopefully they do well. And this will help me build my audience up. So 
if you uh, if you enjoy heat go ahead and hit the subscribe button hit the like button as well and uh yeah thank you guys for watching that's gonna do it for this episode i guess we'll have to finish the barn in the next one i'm sorry i'm still sick and i can't talk for too long and uh yeah thank you guys for watching we'll see you guys next time don't forget to join the pack Thank <laughs> you.